What is going on, you guys? We're back here with some BMX the game, as always. I'm thinking about making another bike park video here soon. Make sure to hit that like button if you like the idea of that. There are quite a few people. It's, it's kind of, bike park's really a niche. My whole channel is a niche channel. Um, I'll explain what that is later. But uh, bike park is one that's more than the others. Um, only a few people watch those, but it seems that the people that do watch the bike park videos do really enjoy them. So I'll be sure to make one of those pretty soon here. And uh, along with that, for the other um, news on series, the Need for Speed series isn't looking too good, guys. Uh, the numbers are absolutely horrible on it. Um, like, worse than Bike Park or anything else I've done. Um, they're, they're, they're comparable to Minecraft, so if that tells you what's going on, um, I guess you'll probably get the point by that. The Minecraft video isn't do too well either. Um, so I think the Need for Speed series may be dying. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. If you'd really, really like me to keep it going, let me know. Maybe I can do it. Um, but, uh, it takes it, there's a lot more, uh, they're, they're time consuming and, uh, I'm not really getting the, uh, not really getting re rewarded for them at all. Um, so, not too sure if that's gonna stay going. We're not sure yet. It, we'll figure it out eventually. Um, we'll see what happens. But, um, yeah, so, uh, that's a good start to the episode, I guess. Talking about cutting off a new series. But, all jokes aside, I think it uh, it's going downhill a bit. But you guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys' day is going great. I had a little stutter there. It's the first time I've said I'm in a video for quite some time, I believe. Maybe maybe not. Maybe I do slip them in here and there. But I, uh, I I've been trying to avoid saying it. I think I've gotten better. Um, YouTube. I've, a lot of times I hear videos. People say like what it takes to be good at YouTube. And um, eventually, <laughs> oh, there it is again. But. Uh, but I always see people say that the more videos you record, the better you get. And I, you know, practice it always does make perfect, but I never really completely believed that for YouTube. I always just kind of figured either, you know, you had it or you didn't. You know, you could just commentate and talk about random stuff and play a game, you know, or you didn't. But I've come to figure out that practice, this is probably one of the, YouTube is probably one of the most, like, practice consuming, like, you have to practice so much to get comfortable and get good at it. Um, anyways, I did. It took a lot. Like, I'm still barely... I'm, I'm not near... Like, I wouldn't say I'm a good commentator by any means. And uh, I've been doing it for a, over a year. Maybe two years now. We'll have to see. I'm going to have to look. I'm actually kind of curious. But, um... <laughs> uh, I, uh, that's, that's one thing that I've noticed. It does take... For all, you, for all you small YouTubers or you people just starting out... Make sure and give it time if you watch your videos and you wonder why it doesn't seem as professional or they aren't as fluent as, uh, um, they aren't as fluent as other people's videos. Just give it time. I promise it'll get better. Go back and watch my first few commentaries. Um, I, I can't even remember what game it would have been or what I would have talked about. I guess it would have been this game last winter. Would have been, that was awesome. A little kiss the rail, um bar to kiss the rail. That was sick. Um, I guess it would have been last year, because I picked up my computer last year snowboarding season, so I guess it would have been about, I've been commentating video games, I've been doing live commentaries for about one year now, so I think I've had quite a bit of improvement, but before that I did some uh, commentaries, I just uh, did voiceovers on um, uh, different things. I just had played some Minecraft way back when, did some commentaries back in the day, but I don't know if I'd count that. Um, but, uh, so yeah, it takes a lot of practice. A lot, a lot of practice. Along with that, it takes a lot of patience, and it's very time-consuming. You may think it's sit down and hammer out, although I only post a 10-minute video. By no means does that mean I only have 10 minutes into it. Um, a lot of times, I have, I probably would say about 7 out of 10 times I have to record a video more than once. Like, 2 or 3 times the same video, just because But I get done, I'll go throw it in the video editor and realize that I had my sound off or set to record one of my wrong screens because I have like a multi-screen setup could have been set to record my wrong screen and then I would have just been recording my desktop for 10 minutes or other problems that may happen people interrupting in my videos phone going off different things that um, happen during a video that you kind of learn to avoid uh, as you get better you learn how to avoid or to um, work with them if somebody does come into my room try to hide it or cover it up as well as you can by, you know, whatever it takes. Um, that's just something you do figure out over time. But there is a lot more time into, wow, that was sketchy. There's a lot more time into the videos than you think. It takes probably an hour to just get my video into the editing software. 
um, say maybe half an hour editing, depending on the video, half an hour, ten minutes to weeks editing, um, it depends, uh, editing varies a lot on, uh, what kind of video it is, uh, how much footage I have, what kind of footage I have, how much bad footage I have, tons and tons of factors editing, uh, de uh relies on, so, never know how long an editing job's gonna take, really, uh, but for these videos, you don't want too long, a little under half an hour, probably under half an hour, I'd say, for sure, and then, it has to render, or it has to, like, process, or whatever you wanna call it, and so it like makes the actual video into a uh, uh, mp4 so I can upload to YouTube that takes another hour probably and then to upload is like three hours and I have to type out if I'm doing a custom description I have to type out the um, title which actually takes more time than you think uh, this is just typing a title can actually become quite the job then uh, I'm making a, a custom thumbnail for it I have to go onto my other computer and make my custom cu thumbnail for it it's okay I've been rambling on for a long time now, but the point is across that it takes a lot of work and uh, time as well. So that kind of, if you guys wonder why I don't post more frequently sometimes, that is mostly why, because I have homework, I have I have stuff to do, and um, it takes a lot of time to get a video out. So I try to squeeze them in as much as I possibly can to fit in my schedule, and uh, I make time for them as well. People ask me to hang out, and I have to tell them no after a quarter video, maybe after. Um, but it takes a lot of time, so patience is huge. Patience is key. Patience and time and effort. I think that effort is probably the biggest one. How bad you really want it, the drive that you have to get the subs. You know, if you're if you're willing to spend money and uh, put time into videos, all those and only get a few views, that's good. That means that you have good chances of making it. But if you are barely dragging along, make a video here and there just because. Um, whatever reason if you just make one every now and again um, don't put much into them don't really care too much don't watch it over don't check your comments that's not good you want to you have a lot of effort into it um, if you guys know I, I try to reply to almost every comment um, within the first week or so uh, if you comment within the first I guess first few days you comment within the first probably three days two or three days of my video being put out usually I get you to reply to your comment but I think after that a lot of times I already went through and replied to them all and by then I have a different video, I have to reply to all the comments, so I don't go back generally. Um, so that's a little tip for you guys, if you do comment and you wonder why I didn't reply, if it was uh, kind of later, you see all, um, it's not always, I guess I do go back quite often, but that's just sort of like my general, uh, I just go through and take out all the comments at once and reply to all of them. But um, so yeah, effort is huge, effort and timing, huge, 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 and then of course there's equipment, there's um, there's uh there's just like the simple factor of being able to talk there's being able to entertain and um, also having good co content content is everything um, what you have on the screen is depends or what you put on the screen is what really decides how many people you're gonna pull in to watch it um, oh, I was gonna do a little bit of night riding here it's fine by me um, so there's a lot of a lot a lot of factors that go into making a good youtuber and um, some of you may be thinking I don't really have the right to be talking about or describing it. Um, being that I only have about 2,500 subs, um, by no means am I a big YouTuber. Um, I hardly, I'm just now probably can be able to consider myself a YouTuber in general. Um, but uh, it out, it takes a lot, and from from the, that's just from my experience, a little bit of experience that I do have with YouTube. That's the things I have learned, and also with my friends trying YouTube or. Uh, um, friends and other small YouTubers I've followed. Um, those are things I've noticed, the ones that grow and ones that don't. Those are some of the things that are really key components to des to decide what ones are going to make it and what ones aren't. Because not everyone does make it. In fact, a very, very small handful do. Um, so it's, it's, it's very slim chances um, of actually making it if you do try. But I think it's worth the effort. Um, it's fun. I get to make content for you guys. I get to talk to you guys. Um, read your guys' comments, and uh, just have fun play my game. So, I think it's a fun thing. I encourage people to try out YouTube if you guys don't do it. It's, it's more than just recording videos for other people. A lot of it's for yourself as well. It is fun. It's it's entertaining. It gives you something to do. It gives you like a sense of pride almost. Um, but, uh, getting kind of deep into it, but it's uh, it really is true. So, I really do encourage people to try it. If you guys have a hobby, if you like a certain game, if you like a certain sport, 
I guarantee you that somebody on YouTube is going to want to watch your videos. If you have a niche, if you like to make paper airplanes, make videos about your paper airplanes. If you like to fly drones, make videos about your drones. If you play sports, make, make sports videos. You know, everyone, there's always somebody else that likes what you're doing. I guarantee you that whatever your hobby is, there's another person out there that does it and wants to see what you have to do or what you've done with it or how you've modified it in your own way or, you know, whatever the case is, I, I guarantee it. So, I really encourage people to try YouTube. But, you guys, I'm going to cut this one off. I have to get ready for work. I have to be there soon. Um, but, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Kind of a fast-paced video and a really random topic. But, uh... Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And make sure to leave a thumbs up if you'd like me to start playing Bike Park again. And continue that Need for Speed gameplay. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.